This video demonstrates how StumbleBot works. First I'll go to the settings and add my proxy whom to catch all domain I'm going to be using. First we enter the proxies one per line. Next I'll enter the catch all domain and test it. Okay, the catch all seems to be working fine, so we'll save the settings. The next step, is to check if the usernames that we want to use, are available. You can either choose your own usernames, or let the software choose them for you. Okay, StumbleBot has suggested 100 new potential usernames. So let's see how many are available at StumbleUpon. Next I'll save the usernames that are available, to a file. Now, I'll create a few accounts, just to show you how fast and easy it is, to use StumbleBot. First we select the file containing the names we just checked for availability. I'll ask StumbleBot to add pictures to the accounts it creates, choose female profiles based in the United States only. With this option it'll create profiles with a random US state. If I don't choose this option it'll choose any random country. Now let's load the CAPTCHA image. We then type in the letters as shown in the image and press the enter key. Once we make the accounts we validate them. Then we save the account information to a file. Okay, now that we have our accounts ready, the next step is to stumble our URLs. Here we have two options, we can either stumble a single URL, or multiple URLs. If we choose the multiple URLs option then we can only stumble the URL and tag it. We can't post reviews. If we choose the single URL option then we have the option of posting reviews as well as adding tags. The software picks up 5 random tags from the list of tags you add in and uses those for each stumble. This makes the stumbles look unique. Now I'll load the accounts file I made a while ago. Ok, the accounts are loaded. Now, I'll type in the URL, and select the comments file. The comments file is a text file, that holds your comments, one per line. I won't use a delay between stumbles for this demo and I'll add some tags in. Click the stumble button, and the software will start stumbling your sites. You can double click the accounts at any time, to open up your browser at the home page, of that particular account. Look at this profile. Would you think it's made by a machine? I guess not. Now let's check out the friend adder. Even though you might like to think that all accounts at StumbleUpon are the same, that's not the case. Every StumbleUpon account has its own weightage based on the age of the account and the number of people who are your friends. You can see from this sample account, 13 people have added this profile as their friend, and this account has added 137 people as a friend. The greater the number of friends an account has, the more powerful it becomes. We need to provide StumbleBot with two sets of accounts, the base accounts, and the target accounts. The base accounts are the accounts that will add the target accounts as their friends. For example if you have 100 base accounts, and 5 target accounts, each of the 100 base accounts will add the 5 target accounts as their friends. Thus. Each of these 5 target accounts would have 100 friends each, making these accounts more powerful. 
I hope this presentation was successful in showing you how easy